already know what time it is. It's time for y'all to wake the uh-huh. fuck up. What up, what up, what up, it's your girl, Lady Say, representing the 219, y'all know what it is, Ice World in the building, shout out to Fleek DJs, you know what it is. So words were worthy, um, it's basically just me getting intel, having conversation with the talent around the city that I know personally, um, both on a very personal level and a business level, I chose Lady C first, um, just cause she was the first person to pop to mind. Uh, I got a lot of questions from people because I got a secret group, group where we have people that we do want to interview and they send questions, so I'm going to be asking some of the questions that they ask. I'm also going to be asking some shit I want to know. I hope in return she's going to ask questions and not be shy. If she's shy, then that's on her. She got her <laughs> chance. Uh, so, Lady C. Yes, sir. First and foremost, you already introduced yourself, but tell them who Lady C is and what she is to Gary, Indiana, as far as hip-hop is concerned. All right, so um, as far as who Lady C is, um, just to give you all a little bit about what I do, I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, uh, rap, um, graphic designer, videographer. Um, I write stage plays, um, very active in my church. I sing in a choir, play drums, play keys. Um, So much so much I got I'm trying to think of everything that I do but that's enough <laughs> so, so damn I mean I wasn't even expecting for you to say all that See, with all that being said you do a lot of shit I mm-hmm. didn't know you do all that mm-hmm. you don't feel like you be spraying yourself there um sometimes um I'm not gonna lie Balls. um sometimes it, it does become overwhelming but um the love that I have for what I do it that's what really drives me to keep going okay. you know when I feel like giving up, it's like, don't stop you, almost there. You know what I'm saying? And that's what kind of keeps me going. The love. Yeah. So, how long have you been actually loving? It's hot. I'm getting hot. <laughs> how long have you actually been loving what you do? Oh, man. Uh, well, I've been singing. I started out singing, of course. Uh, but I was singing in choir when I was at the age of five. Uh, when I was at the age of 10 is when I really uh, developed that love for music. Like, I just knew this is what I really, really wanted to do. Um and it just kind of went from there. Went from from there. church, from mm-hmm. church. Why church? Like, what had you involved in church? Um, just singing in the choir. Uh, it started from there, and then I developed the love for the drums. Um, and then my mom bought me my first drum set, and my church family was the first. You know, my church home was the first people to actually give me that opportunity to get on the drums. I was terrible at first, but you know, they just allowed me to keep coming back, and that got a whole lot better than the piano, you know what I'm saying? So all of those gifts I got, um, I was developed in the church. That's where it all started from. So how does your church family feel about your music career there? Um, For the most part, uh, they're very supportive. Uh, You know, you get a lot of people in the churches where you be like, they they kind of hypocrites and they feel, you know, they talk about it. They and, tend to be from church. Right, you know what I'm saying? But uh, with my church family, they're they're like the most supportive <laughs> group of people that I've ever met in my life, you know, from my pastor on down, you know, they don't judge me for what I'm doing. They support me, you know, 100%. You know, of course, everybody have their, you know, views and opinions, but they never, you know, judge me for anything that I'm doing. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sure it could be uh, like a clash for you yourself personally yeah. uh, with your spirit dealing with other people because you say you manage. Yeah. So you have yeah. to manage other demons and angels. Mm-hmm. Uh, who do you manage, if you don't mind me asking? Um, currently, I'm managing, uh, I have the Trap Girls that I manage, uh, Stax the Artist, well, Stax the Realist, I'm sorry. Stax the Realist, yeah, I'm um, shout out to Stax. Uh, Ace Tyler, Mr. King, <laughs> Ruga, um, who else? Is um, it too early? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, co-managing uh, with uh, Randy G. Um, yeah, and then I have Jay, man. Jay Nicole. She's an R&B artist. Uh, she's doing her thing. By the right. way, I need what's up with the, what's up with the video. <laughs> we trying to get that thing cracking. Um, we had a few things that kind of played a part in so why we okay. had to postpone it, but we actually still getting that cracking. So she prom- she made a promise to me, but we go put on. <laughs> but, um, it's definitely coming. So. Um, it's a lot of personalities yeah, to be dealing it's with. It's a lot. And you are an artist yourself, so mm-hmm. how do you? All right, you just named 
50 million jobs like a Mexican. <laughs> then you just name 50 million more artists to manage. How do you manage your career, their careers, so and all these hustles? So what, what, what has happened in the past, um, and I know it's probably like, for me, it's always been a struggle because I always tend to put myself to the back burner uh, and, and push other artists. So basically with me doing that, I had to come up with a system to make it work for us all. And my whole thing is now like we all have to, the only way this thing is going to work is if we all get behind each other and really push each other. It's, that's the only way that this thing going to work. And a lot of them, um, they get on me, you know, surprisingly, like you don't find a lot of artists like that, but they get on me like, you need to be pushing yourself more, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to so, be in my phone a lot. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Like, I told you I'm sitting there right now. Nah, you all good. But, um, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, for the most part, like a lot of them really be on me about me pushing myself while I'm pushing them. So um, I think how it works for me is that we just kind of all just get behind each other and it, it just works out that way. Now, I'm not saying it's the easiest thing. It's not easy because, of course, you know, you have a lot of people that want to be that one mm -hmm. or want to be in the forefront. But um, with the system that I have, I think that it'll work long as we all work together as a team. So if given if if you had to make a choice, which would you prefer, though? You got your career or you got your artist? I mean, your career is an artist or a manager. Management. Which one do you want? See, I'm kind of torn with that. And I'll tell you why. Um, because on the career side and music and, you know, I know a lot of knowledge about how the music business go. You know, as far as careers like artists, we don't make as much as we should make. You know what I'm saying? Versus being a manager and getting behind somebody else. Um, and they take off. It's a lot of money that could come with that as well because then you can go right, which is more money than the right. actual artists get, um, you know, management fee. A, a lot of it, it has its perks. So it was oh, like a love and money. Right. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's all about like, do I love my, you know what I'm saying? My career is enough to be like, uh, I would just put this to the side and say, if somebody came and picked me up now, would I sign with versus the uh, behind the scenes thing, which I don't mind playing either way. Well, How long honest. you been managing? Um... Probably maybe about oh, that's a good question. four years, maybe. It, that, it, it's not been long. <laughs> Motherfucker say, because it kind of go with what I'm asking, mm -hmm. and I just said it. All right, so with that said, what's the best artist you've worked with personally from the local? Management-wise? Or just... Let's go management. It's, let's say personally, as an artist, and then let's say business-wise, as a manager. Okay, personally as a, hmm. That boy got a lot of motherfucking questions. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, worth ethic wise, um. Okay, I, I need you to be real. Too. Yeah, I'm being real. Worth ethic wise, um, I would say Vovo is a, um, one artist that I have really enjoyed working with. Um, mainly because I like his business ethic, like his mind, and I guess mainly because when he, you know what I'm saying, I've been working with him for a long time. Um, I went to jail with him. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he came a long way, and just to see where he is now versus when he first got out and everything, like, I'm very proud of him. Um, definitely stacks, uh... I love her work I ethic. I was just asking to ask you about female wise. Yeah, I love her ethic. Like her work ethic is off the chain. Is that as a manager or as as an artist? Though? Both though, honestly. I, as a manager. As a manager, I'm I talking love about her. you because you know artists. You got artists that can't take criticism, can't yeah. take orders. Yeah. As a manager. Yeah, as a manager, um, it comes down to I actually uh, stacks and the trap girls. Because I give them all a lot of advice, a lot of direction, and I never get the back talk, the backlash of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they actually listen, take right. it in, and, you know what I'm saying, change 
some of the things that I tell them and it's actually been working for them. So yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Um, most artists don't don't Yeah, it's trust me, I know. I know. Then, <laughs> with all that shit going on, how you how do you like I you even find time for a relationship? Well, um, <laughs> 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 she, 